Bradley Hansen asks, how do you recommend interacting with friends, acquaintances who are newer to crypto and who are chasing gains in altcoins while being hesitant to Bitcoin? Thoughts on long-term success of Bitcoin versus altcoins? Bradley, this is very, very difficult. This is something I, I have struggled with myself. If you follow an absolutist perspective where you say, Bitcoin is the only thing you should ever invest in, everything else is trash, you shouldn't look at anything else, you will lose credibility and you will not get your point across. I think it's more important to say, to ask this from the perspective of epistemology, which is basically investigate how and why your friends and acquaintances are making these decisions. So first of all, ask, are you trying to do some kind of portfolio diversification? Is this why you want to invest in these other things? Or are you looking for extra yield? What is your risk tolerance? Why are you investing in these altcoins? So uh, for example, a very common answer I get to questions like that is, I want to diversify my portfolio across crypto. Well, okay, is that possible? If you look at the correlation between Bitcoin and altcoins, they march in lockstep for the majority of time. And all you do is you dilute your performance by spreading across things that marks march in lockstep. That's not diversification. Arguably, you get more diversification by investing in Bitcoin and US treasuries than you do by investing in Bitcoin and I don't know, some other cryptocurrency. This isn't about all altcoins or shitcoins. First of all, I don't believe that. Absolutes like that do not serve in a debate or discussion that is based on reason and technical analysis. Another way to approach this is to ask why this particular cryptocurrency? What is it about this blockchain that has you excited? And I've developed a framework like that. And the framework isn't so that you can explore all these other cryptocurrencies. It's, it started primarily as my expression of why Bitcoin. And that acronym is RIPCORD. And it stands for a series of questions you ask. So I think Bitcoin is special because it is, not because it is Bitcoin but because it is revolutionary, immutable, public, collaborative, open, resistant to censorship and decentralized. If we called it something else and it was still doing those things, it would still be interesting to me. If we called it Bitcoin and it no longer did these things, then it would no longer be interesting to me. The interest does not come from any name or price. It comes because I think these characteristics that are kind of emergent properties from its design, its community, and its life cycle so far are what make it interesting. So if you say, here's another cryptocurrency, should I invest in this? What are the questions you need to ask? Well, I would start with Ripcord. Then I would say, how does that fit into your portfolio? How are you balancing risk and reward? Every investment has some kind of risk inherent to it. That doesn't mean that I only invest in things that are this risky, but not that risky. A balanced portfolio has a mix of different risk categories, which hopefully are decorrelated so that not all of the risky things blow up in your face at the same time, or that the nature of each risk is different. Um, and furthermore, the percentages of each asset I might have will weigh the amount of risk that I'm willing to take in each asset class to give me a balanced portfolio that reflects my particular risk appetite. This is basic financial knowledge uh, and investment knowledge. Now, uh, the, the problem is that a, a traditional financial advisor will consider everything in crypto as too risky to invest in without even talking about percentages of portfolio allocation. That, in my opinion, is bad advice because risk has a purpose in a portfolio. It adds spice and gives you the opportunity for yield in markets that are otherwise very tightly correlated. And if that's what you want based on your risk appetite, then there's nothing wrong with uh, exploring that to the right percentage. Uh, and again, what is your risk appetite versus somebody else's? I've often talked about risk as spice. Think of uh, investing in crypto as cayenne in your stew. Uh, a pinch of cayenne will make your stew interesting. The entire pot of cayenne 
uh, will make your stew inedible. And so, of course, you have to be careful and understand how much risk you're putting into your portfolio and what percentage of your portfolio has that risk. But that is not a criterion that you can apply across the board. Let me give you an example. I go to India to do a conference. I meet with my colleagues at a restaurant that they invited me to eat at just before, about an hour before, I'm going to get up on stage and deliver a talk. I'm starving, I haven't had anything to eat, I really want to eat. I ask them, is this restaurant spicy? They say, no, no, it's not spicy at all. Great, now let me ask that question again. For white boy over here, is this restaurant spicy? Um, no, no, but we can order something mild. Okay, so we go in and I ask for the mildest thing they have. No spice whatsoever. Mild, no spice, you understand? I'm Greek. We, we think black pepper is spicy. No spice at all, minimum spice possible, because I know I'm in India. Oh my God, they brought me food that I could not swallow. Uh, five minutes after starting my meal, I have tears streaming down my face. My nose is running, my face has turned red, and I'm saying this is too spicy, I can't. I can't eat it, and they taste it, and they like, this isn't spicy at all. Same thing applies to financial portfolios. Be careful. Don't ask someone else about what your tolerance for spicy should be. They may have a very different idea of what's spicy. Hi, I'm Andreas Antonopoulos. If you enjoyed that video, consider that it takes a lot of work to produce open and free content that can be shared with everyone around the world. This isn't sponsored by some company, it's not promoting a product or an altcoin or some kind of investment scheme. My goal is simply to help explain the technology of Bitcoin and open blockchains to as many people as possible in a neutral way that focuses really on the incredible possibilities that this technology brings us. If you'd like to support that mission, subscribe to my channel and go on patreon.com slash aantonop where you can participate and help me build better content for more people. Thank you.